Hi guys, welcome to this short video review about Bitflyer, especially Bitflyer Europe Crypto Exchange and what's my experience with that after a couple of months is it a scam is it good is it just over regulated or what's the problem if there's any problem yeah and uh, i can tell you already there are a lot of problems i will definitely let you know at least at the end of the video so let's start with that the good thing is or was when they announced a couple of months ago that they will allow PayPal transfer so you can move funds from PayPal to an account on Bitflyer Europe and have it uh, credited normal and then you can trade and put it back on PayPal those things so in theory sounds pretty good but how does it look in real life i've been trying to do that and it took me very very long time to do everything that's the really bad thing so when we are talking about these days about the uh, DeFi and doing everything in seconds or even milliseconds with Bitflyer you have to think more about like days, weeks or even months. It's incredible how slow everything is. And yeah, when we also look at their website, uh, this looks also very outdated. You can see that here you have a little bit of menus when we go over it. Uh, there's not much high-tech stuff here so i would like to start with this review i think that's a pretty good one here inside bitcoins and there they have a pretty good uh, review about bitflyer i don't know if it's bitflyer europe or more like japan but i have been reading everything and it looks like it's a pretty solid review but it's a huge one and if you don't want to spend like 20 minutes on reading everything uh, this could be a little bit faster and give you also some more information yeah what they describe here that bitflyer was founded uh, i think 2014 uh, one of the earliest crypto exchanges and the good thing it has never been hacked so no loss of funds or so looks like it's a pretty legit thing it has been around for six or seven years almost and uh, it's still there and they're trying to expand but there are also a lot of limitations and uh, yeah this is one here what cryptocurrencies does bitflyer support you can see that here we have the pairs in japan and here we have some in europe and here we have us and you can see there's not much it's crazy i mean there are a couple of more now yeah i think here we have even some more japan yeah europe also has a couple of more but not not many i can really tell you then here we have the supported countries but you have to be careful us is not for end consumers it's just uh, for large investors then fees and limits yeah fees uh, are pretty high especially compared to other exchanges then we have a dashboard we have a normal dashboard and we have uh, like this lightning dashboard i'll show you that later and we have some information about registering and verifying an account yet yeah, they have really high expectations when you're opening an account on verification uh, before you do uh, like a full uh, kyc with everything and uh, there's no no way to cheat on, on on that i mean you have to provide everything and uh, only then you will be able to really trade and especially to withdraw uh, unless you do a full and I'm really talking about a full kyc or even uh, more actually than than a full kyc you really cannot withdraw anything you have to be careful uh, you can send funds there pretty fast there are no big limitations you can open an account send things there but if you want to withdraw and even when it's only cryptocurrency you will really need to make a full kyc so uh, make sure before you send any funds there uh, that you get uh, verified other otherwise i wouldn't send anything there yeah and then uh, again uh, what i already mentioned bitflyer is bitflyer regulated yeah the founder has described this uh, or his exchange as the most compliant virtual currency uh, exchange in the world yeah i can definitely agree on that 
uh, this is uh, crazy this is has nothing to do with uh, DeFi, decentralized finance or so this is almost uh, more difficult uh, than probably when you are in a couple of years when uh, big banks will allow to trade with or buy and sell a uh, cryptocurrency this is uh, crazy how this is regulated and how slow this really is i mean the big big uh, advantage is that it's probably pretty safe yeah that's one thing here uh, i don't know why it's scoring only 37 out of 100 uh, i think they wrote something about code or so which is not so good yeah Re regarding my uh, experience is that i had a lot of problems with different browsers yeah when i wanted to withdraw some coins from this exchange uh, i had to try with all the browsers first i tried with chrome didn't work then i went to brave didn't work microsoft edge didn't work at the end i had to use firefox uh, to be able to withdraw and it was not uh, like a, a safety thing it was just because the browser didn't support this function yet it's insane so this is a little bit bad definitely but yeah safety is probably their highest point yet yeah, found 2014 and the uh, online site and the wallet was never hacked and i think about 80 percent of their funds they are storing in cold wallets yeah they have also an uh, app they have android and ios app uh yeah i haven't tried that i have only been uh, doing the online uh, trading or using their online site but if you're having problems yeah maybe that could be a solution for you to use this app regarding customer support yeah that was not too bad so usually i got uh, an answer within a couple of hours or at least in in, in a day or so they, it, it looks like uh, they are good stuffed and they are helpful but they are also looking uh, in detail into your account if you are trying to evade the uh, proper kyc or so uh, you won't be out of luck i can really tell you so here a little bit of pros and cons and now i'm going into detail so here we are on their site like a uh, bitflyer europe and uh, one big thing here is uh, when you usually look at this menu and you want to buy or sell something i mean of course you're tempted to use this thing and you click on buy and you can see what they are asking here what this price that's 16,345 now let's uh, imagine you you bought this at this price 16,345 and a couple of minutes later at actually the same price and nothing changed uh, you, you're trying to sell uh, same amount of bitcoin you can see how much you will get only 15,500 though that's around 5% loss uh, as a market take that's insane so you have to really avoid that yeah, it looked also tempting for me I fell into this trap here and I think they are making a lot of money on that when people are just uh, clicking they are looking for the easiest way to buy and sell and they're clicking on this thing and they are not aware of the spread I mean when we are uh, looking into average spread of exchange as you can see it's a different thing so usually if you are talking about 0, 0.00 something percent uh, of spread here with all the major exchanges i mean there are a couple of exemptions but this is really insane here this is for me looks almost like a scam i mean it's the right to do what they want on their side but it's really important if you want to really trade here don't use this thing here go to bitflyer lightning and this is a, like a more advanced or a more or less up-to-date exchange yet yeah, my screen thing is a little bit too small but you can see you have everything you have this uh, ask bid you can set limits uh, you can act as a market maker or market taker here you have all the options you see everything uh, what's going on and so if you really want to do something yeah make sure you go to this lightning overview otherwise you there's only money to lose here and then when you want to fund or withdraw uh, you have to go to account funding 
and there's a possibility to send money by PayPal you can see that or from a bank account that's easy and if you want to withdraw something you click here but again uh, with most of the browsers it's not working if it's not working go to Firefox or maybe use the app and there are also very good and very bad things here I mean the good things is you can add some external addresses like your wallet address here and there's a separate menu if you have 2FA you have to confirm with 2FA uh, that's a good thing and uh, it's really a different menu and when you want to send some coins or tokens somewhere you can just click on your wallet or the uh, wallet number and then uh, add the amount and everything and click on send and it will go there why am i mentioning that because you can do this with a lot of other exchanges but there when you after clicking on the wallet which you have been registering you can still manipulate the wallet address and uh, if you like hit the wallet address with your keyboard or i mean with your mouse and then you hit the keyboard you can uh, change that and you're sending your funds somewhere where you cannot recover and that's not possible here so that's a good thing if you want to send large amounts make uh, sure you try with a very very low amount you're sending some something there and uh, if it has been working you can use this thing here and when you're just clicking on that and don't change anything you will be 100% sure that you will receive your funds uh, with all the other exchanges like Binance, Coinbase and uh, Bitstamp and all, all, all the things I mean you are also able to add wallet addresses but uh, after clicking on that the, you always have the possibilities to change that this is something which i don't like and this is some safety uh, issue a safety hazard and the, you can lose your funds if you by accident click on the thing on the wallet id and uh, change something this, is, this cannot happen here that's a good thing the really really bad thing is how long it takes uh, especially it looks like uh, when you do this uh, after business hours the last transfer i've been activating uh, just after the norm normal office uh, hours and I'm still waiting for that and uh, that's a couple of hours and uh, this, this is insane so, so they will probably only release that tomorrow after they show up in the office again and they watch what's going on and they have to click on that and allow my transfer this is absolutely insane so if you really need something fast and flexible that's not going to be the thing for you but if you need or if you want to have something uh, most safe most secure and you don't mind if it takes maybe a couple of hours or even days for transfers or uh, yeah one one other thing which i want to mention here is how they locked uh, bitcoin cash recently after the fork uh, yeah after the last fork for bcha uh, i think 99 percent of all the other exchanges opened the bch market i think it was probably a couple of minutes or, or at least a couple of hours later they opened uh, the trading for bch i'm not talking about bcha i'm just talking about the original bch which is around since uh, 2017 but not bitflyer bitflyer had it locked for about two weeks that's insane i mean nothing has changed for bch they didn't even support the fork no way you got this bcha they kept it for themselves and they sold it probably already nice money for them i mean it's not a lot but still for me it's actually stealing money and uh, they locked bch and uh, exactly during this time uh, it went up to very high price and a lot of people would probably have sold this thing then but it was not possible because it was locked and uh, only after complaining a, a couple of times they opened the market again uh, maybe if i didn't complain maybe it, it would still be locked it's absolutely in insane so so for me it's just like if you if you don't have any other 
option at all or if you want to uh, deal maybe with the most safe exchange in Europe and uh, you don't mind of all the other problems yeah maybe go ahead and open an account and uh, send something there but definitely not a lot uh, i would definitely start with just maybe a couple of dollars and see how how it works and if you can withdraw your funds and only then uh try with more money on that that's my recommendation and uh, i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time